right, hello everyone. Well, um, after the last short blog, I'm still here at Fair Oaks Airport and thought I'd just do a quick fly around again, maybe showing off uh, some of the areas a bit further out. So again, we're in the Cabri and um, weather conditions are set roughly the same. I don't know if we can improve the sky once something's been recorded. Uh, this is something I don't know. Let's give it a try. Can we make it a nicer sky with the blue? We can. And that's something I've not done before. And let's have a look at the sets of clouds. Well, some very fluffy ones there. Um, what I've done on this one, I, I did record it. Um, I was actually uh, doing a lot, lot more low down flight, uh, doing a bit of tree hopping, a bit like in DCS with the Huey, where you're flying along, jumping over trees, going into another field. Because one of the things with this Fair Oaks air, uh, area, as you can see, there's a larger amount of fields all over the place and the, there are gaps in the trees for you to go through and practice low down level flight now I'm going to have to admit on one or two here um, I would have been killed because the blades have hit the, uh, the trees a few times I'm certainly no perfect pilot but it does give the opportunity and a great deal of fun to drop down and I suppose do the things you're not really supposed to do like looks like we've got some cattle or some horses here um, let's have a zoom in yep cattle well we certainly wouldn't be allowed to do that but a great deal of fun dropping down in between the trees and because of the quality of the textures it looks so good it really does now i've still got as i always go on my wonky joystick and it seems to be getting a bit worse i'm afraid um, there's one or two inputs here that are not pilot error they're uh, not like that one uh, they are joystick error where it's twitching and um, we get a sudden left and right flick on the helicopter so you'll have to ignore that but just low down flying what it's great practice if you if you enjoy the small helicopters like this they are really cut out for this type of tree hopping and as an area the fair oaks airport has all the gaps between the trees good variation in the trees as well the ground looks good it's it sort of draws you in to these open areas to get down there and look for the gaps and then um, do some low down flight. Now again, the photo textures there. There's obviously houses on the photo textures that are showing up that are not put in as houses yet. At this height, they're going to look odd. But obviously if you were flying your Cessna up at a few thousand feet, I'm sure I'm sure they would look wonderful. And one day as I promised I'm gonna jump back in that Cessna after that fiasco of a few um, videos ago where I did get it off the ground and I did fly it. Okay, I ended up in a canyon and nowhere to go and crashed, but you know, I'm not used to that, but I've learnt that you turn the engine on, get the throttle up and get the brakes off and if you get enough forward speed it takes off. Not quite sure yet to do with all the flaps and things like that but you know at some point maybe I'll start flying small aircraft as well. But look how great this looks, I mean the Cadbury here, low down, flying between the trees the trees look great the ground looks great
it's probably only the flying that lets it down. Now probably one of the things to do, and I haven't done this, is to um, have a look at the uh, Google map from above and maybe work a route out or a circuit that you know you're going to be able to fly between. I'm, I'm doing this literally um, as I go along so I'm not sure where the openings are if I go into a field if there's going to be a way out that field without heading over the trees but by having a quick look at the area in Google Maps you could probably mark out a flight route that would be a great run through these uh, fields and little forest areas uh, before you start off so um, I haven't done it I've done it just straight off having a fly around low down enjoying the great textures they've got now here's an example and I do apologize if it's not true or what I'm talking about is rubbish where the roads are solid um, concrete no textures if you have a look at the runways there's a texture to the runways there's cracks there's other things it seems to be an odd mix of auto to me we're getting the overlay and it's your choice if you switch it on in the FTX um, uh, gateway that you can have an overlay that goes over the autogen road that gives it a lovely texture and the cars at a slightly higher height than this maybe a couple of hundred feet do look exceedingly good um, now and again you come across the road, oh there we go, that's, that's the twitch I had on the joystick, so that's not me being fancy flying through the trees. But um, one of the things you'll notice is that if you have that texture switched on and you're at reasonable height, the cars going over the road do look like they're actually driving over um, a proper road, rather than something that is just cut out in place so again I would imagine that Orbix have on this occasion here just cut out and place those roads uh, where they are and I think all round this is um, a great place for a helicopter pilot to have a play around if you enjoy low down hovering and flying between the trees uh, this is a good pl good place to do it it's, um, it's been textured so well that it's uh, I'm going to say a joy to fly in. and you know just looking in the distance there it's um, you know I'm getting the feeling I, I want to jump a, a year ahead and see where we are because I think we're going to see some major differences. These buildings here, they're, you know, they're, they're pretty unique and um, the way they're overlaying the windows, uh, the doorways, things like that. Now you could say that the gravelly texture there in between the houses looks a bit rough um, but you know what who cares when you're flying around it does look so good so here we are back on the uh, or on the inside and one of the things I'm not sure if I've got this right these electric pylons that are coming up here they're extremely sharp and the droop on the wires, there's no flicker, there's no um, uh, look, they don't look like they've been cut out anymore. Now, I might have missed this on previous videos, but flying past that, you, know, you would swear that was a real electric pylon, and uh, 
the way the cables are you do want to avoid them obviously uh, and when you go over you know quite a dense area like this the, the foliage does look pretty good they don't look like the triangular ones that we had uh, a few years ago and when we pass this church we go onto a brown area which uh, is obviously a photographic texture where there is shrubbery there or sand in this area as you can see and there on the road it, the cars aren't moving because on replay the also gen doesn't work but occasionally you just get a solid bit of road appear like that or now we're back where that bus is and you can see the cars on the right hand side there not moving but the texture of the road is uh, is very very good and we're coming up to the McLaren building and since I did the library's upload we seem to have a load of cars in the um, car park uh, very fancy ones and uh, one out on display at the front here And this is just so, so much fun, it really is. Now I'm very fortunate at the moment that because, well, we'd have been dead then, but um, I've got the time at the moment because I'm off, I'm not working, uh, to be able to do these things and uh, make a quick video here or there. But. One of the things I, I, I'm going to say is that I, the more I'm flying around, the more I'm noticing or looking for the smaller things, not just the general, um, that's a nice airfield, it's straight, it's got a nice edge to it and the lights work. You know, these guys are putting a lot of effort into the graphic side of things. and. Um, for the company that I used to manage or was managing director of, you know, we had a very large website that had, um, you know, a pretty huge following, thousands of uh, hits a day. And we would spend hours doing correct graphics and talking about things, getting things right. But we weren't graphic artists, we weren't doing this type of thing. And the teams they've got doing this at the moment are obviously are working very hard on all versions of the airports. So congratulations to them, well done. Uh, it's getting better and better. So I'm going to call it quits there and say thanks again for listening. And uh, do subscribe if you like listen, listening to me waffle on. And uh, have a great week.